Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm here at the beginning to clarify something for you guys. This video is not commented, it's narrated. I started playing on Encrystal with a group of friends and we spent the entire last week base hunting. And as a throwback to my old videos, I decided to compile the best ones in this one. Anyways, I didn't want to make a video with no voice whatsoever, so I decided to comment over the interesting things I noticed while exploring. So enjoy the video guys. When we got to this first base, we got really lucky because it was one of the first portals we got in. And one of my friends, he was freaking out because he plays with shaders so he couldn't see the glass. And yeah, he looks like a retard, I know. This base we found, it was super small, like it was just a new fag escaping and he wasn't online at the time. But it was still really interesting to see. I. It was very creative actually, I really liked the door that he had and the farm was part of the roof. You can see like there, there's a dirt roof there and it was like his f food farm, his wheat farm. He started searching for stuff because you can see my friend, he was wearing only an enchanted diamond. So we decided that we would get some resources from him, right? But I mean, I didn't want to just steal from this guy and leave nothing in return, you know? So we left a kit in one of the shulkers, we left some signs and also we noticed he had a bed, like his bed was exposed and we also left a sign telling him about a bed trap, like yo watch out, you might get bed trap and die forever. So later, like a few days later, I saw him online and we started chatting and he's actually a really cool guy and we got together and made some stuff. And we had fun. There you can see we placing back some stuff in the chest because, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty established on the server. I have a lot of stuff, I have a lot of stashes, but I always like to take something, you know, I mean, it's anarchy, I'm free to do whatever I want, right? But I, I really feel bad from stealing, like, from new people. Like, blowing up a stash, yeah, normal, like, I mean, guy's duping and fuck him, you know, <laughs> I don't care. But, yeah, I decided to leave something in return, so I just left a kid in the chest, and I also left my Discord in case he wants all his stuff back. So this base, as you can see, it was a little bigger than the other one. And by a little, I mean a lot. This base was pretty big. And we thought we had hit the jackpot because it was so big. But not. But honestly, it, it had less valuable stuff than the other one. It was way pretty though. I really like natural stuff in Minecraft, like farms. I really like wooden builds. And I really, really like the mushroom block, this red mushroom block. It's one of my favorite ones in the entire game. But, I mean, the base didn't have much stuff. It was pretty established and it was pretty amazing finding it. Like, we kind of freaked out. And, I mean, you can see, like, this guy, he just, like, he was just playing the game normally. He didn't have any dupe stashes. He wasn't exploiting any glitches. He was just making a normal villager breeder, an iron farm, maybe making some other farms. He, he had a mob grinder. But it wasn't working for some reason, I think this model doesn't work on the server. You need to make a way bigger one for it to work. But still, it was pretty amazing to find this base. You, it, it is definitely one of the coolest bases, if not the coolest one I've ever found on the server. At least when we are talking about visual appearance, because this looks amazing. He also had this cool map, and we decided to leave our signs right on the map. One other cool thing we found is that he had a map art. It was not a map art, it was like a message, but it seemed looked like a, a map art. But the art, artist wasn't the same guy that built the base, like the, the owner of the horse wasn't who built the map art. So 
yeah, this was pretty weird. I mean, I, f I think there's two people play like, playing in this base. But if there's not, another guy found this place and decided not to grief, which I think is pretty cool. Here you can see what I was talking about. There's this message and this little drawing saying Kilroy was here, but there's no horses or dogs owned by Kilroy on the base. So I think he just came across this place. And yeah, here's like a final shot I took of the base so you guys can kind of see it as a whole. This next one is gonna be a quick one. We found the ruins of another Fight Club event. I remember like in my second End Crystal video ever, I think. Yeah, it was End Crystal Adventures number two. Uh, I found the ruins of a Fight Club and even had some kits there. Later, of course, now I know what a Fight Club is and they give kits every Saturday and blah, blah, blah. But we found like the ruins of another event, which I just think is pretty cool. Just There's nothing much to commentate over this. It's just really cool. Okay, so this was a big one, because this little base we found, it was just this island, like just some chests on an island, but it had a small but really useful stash, because we had spent the entire day raiding stashes, because we had some public coordinates and we also just got lucky and found some places. But I ended up losing to a guy, a shulker full of pickaxes, and I was really sad, but I managed to find one as you can see right there. And this stash was really, really cool. We all got stuff we really needed, like pieces, extra armor, extra tools, extra blocks. And especially because it was like our stack on our third day on the server. So our, like my friends third day on the server. So it really helped them get established. Really, really helped them. But by far, by far, the best thing we found was this little, this, this two pieces of map art. I found this one with the panda, and my friend found one which is pack.png, like the, the the image of the Minecraft world. And I really, really love stuff like that. Like one thing that makes me really want to play Anarchy is finding like ruins and and bases. Like finding stashes and PvP is cool and all, but for me, man, there's something about finding some map art and researching history that just gets me going, you know, I think it's so cool and it's definitely what's keeping us playing right now. And in the end, of course, we decided to blow the place up. I mean, if we're not gonna have the stash, no one is, right? And yeah, this is actually this is the first time I've ever griefed, like actually blew something up on the server. And it was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I'd like to thank you all again for watching and for subscribing and for supporting me. I always, always love when I'm playing on the server and people slash MSG me to tell that they like my videos, to ask when the next one's coming up. And I kind of feel bad about this because I I want to keep my upload schedule like frequent. I want to upload videos more frequently. But it takes a long time to record something on an anarchy server, especially when things are far away, when you need to do something big, and I'm working on big projects that take like might take more than a month, maybe two even. So I like to ask you guys for feedback. If you'd rather have more frequent videos and simpler ones, like just talking about the server in general, maybe uh, presenting some interesting builds, videos like this one, or the highway ones or if you guys rather wait for me to make something really really cool or I, I mean I can do a combination of both but what I will do is upload simpler and shorter videos like less than 10 minutes long 12 minutes long at max and while I work on big, bigger projects so please leave your feedback and what you think I should do and anyways and as always thank you guys for watching